Hi, my name is Emily. I am now an Obtigro Angel, and I'm going to read two of my writings. The very first is actually a tribute to a young girl, transgender, who sadly committed suicide. Um, her name was Leela Alcorn. This is my little writing on Leela in loving memory of Leela Alcorn, a transgender girl. In loving memory of Leela Alcorn, a transgender teen. Leela Alcorn, a beautiful transgender teen girl. I never met her and sadly only learned of her through a sad and tragic news story that documented yet another transgender teenage suicide. Hers actually. I read the article and clicked onto a link that took me to her Tumblr page where she posted her suicide note. As I read it, I couldn't help but cry and feel overwhelming emotion for this poor girl. She struggled for most of her life and all she ever wanted was to be accepted and loved by her family for being true to her inner transgender self. Leela struggled with gender dysphoria, which is a medical condition where the individual feels a disconnect between their born sex and their perceived gender. The mind does not fit the body. In Leela's case, she identified as a girl, but she was born a boy. She tried to figure out what was going on with her, and then at age 14, she had a breakthrough. She learned about gender dysphoria and gender identity disorder, and she was able to put the pieces of the puzzle together to finally realize who she was. She was thrilled to learn of this, but when she revealed it to her parents, she was met with opposition and they did not accept her as a girl. She was thrilled to learn of this, but when she revealed it to her parents, she was met with opposition and they did not accept her as a girl. She was heartbroken and felt all alone and terribly isolated. She was starting to fall into a deep depression and felt her situation was hopeless. Her parents tried to change her by bringing her to a therapist who used conversion therapy, which is used to try and convince a transgender individual to alter their inner feelings, to conform to their born sex. This is not helpful in any way and most likely results in the patient's continuing depression. Leela certainly did not benefit from this kind of treatment as evidenced by her suicide. I don't want to judge Leela's parents, but I think they did not treat her properly. Her mom refused to refer to her as a girl and in her Facebook page post, 
she referred to her as her son and seemed detached in stating her child's suicide. I believe they forced her to take her life due to their ignorance and intolerance of her transgender identity, and that is very sad. Lilu's death is very tragic and sad because she was shunned by her own family just for expressing her true self. Now her family will have to live with that for the rest of their lives. Hopefully Leela's tragic suicide won't be forgotten. There must be more awareness and tolerance. Any form of conversion therapy should be banned from being used. I was touched by Leela's story, so I am dedicating this writing, which includes my tribute video to her memory and hopefully her story will have a profound effect on how transgender youth and teens should be treated, which is with love, respect, dignity, and full acceptance. I pray for Leela to have eternal peace in heaven and to be embraced as the sweet, lovely girl she always knew she was in her heart and soul. Goodbye, sweet angel. Love, Emily Ayanelli of T Girl Angel. In memory of Lila Alcorn. And here's some photos of. Lila. She was a precious girl, very, very sad, beautiful Lila Alcorn. And this is my writing on my own personal expression of being transgender. I di title it Diary of a Young Tea Girl. Where do I start? Interesting question. I'm now really testing my memory. It's all very simple though. It's always been about my inner feelings. Even though I couldn't express them, it was even harder to explain them. I was very young when I knew something was wrong. I was three years old when I tried on my younger sister's dress. It was my very first time. It was purely magical. It was my little secret. I not only tried on the dress, I kept it all to myself, never telling anyone. I loved that dress. It was a cute little yellow dress with a little sash in the front. I knew as a boy I wasn't supposed to be wearing this dress I adored but it really didn't matter to me because I was so happy in that cute dress. I hated my boy clothes. I would secretly cry in my room when I had to be a boy. I preferred being a girl. It was my fantasy world, but it was so real to me. I couldn't help how I felt. I knew I was different. I just didn't know what to do about it. I couldn't tell my parents. I couldn't tell my sisters. I just kept it my little secret. A secret that lasted all throughout my life. I was afraid to say a word. 
The only times I could dress as a girl was when I was in bed under the covers, making sure no one would see me. I dreamed of being a princess. I loved those dreams when I could be a girl. After all, I was just being me, what I felt was in my heart. I was a very shy kid. I could barely say a word. School was really tough for me. I had to be good at pretending. Everyone saw me as a little boy, but that's not what I felt in my heart. I was a girl to no one but myself. I just wanted to cry. I had to be good at pretending. That was what my life was all about. I was always jealous of the girls in my classes. I wanted to be just like them. That's how I felt inside. I didn't fit in. By all appearances, I was a boy, but I truly knew what I was. No one else did. How could they? I had to go on in my pretend world. I really had no choice. My reality was truly very painful. I lived with the constant reminder that I felt like a girl. There was nothing I could do about it. I was very sad. I felt empty inside. I felt lost. I felt isolated. I felt all alone. I felt trapped. I couldn't ask for help. I didn't even understand it. How could I explain it to someone? I just had to make the best of my situation. I really tried to be a boy. I played baseball. I studied hard. I was a good student, even though I never said a word. I would be like this all my life. I was very shy. I was very insecure. I was very alone. I had some friends but I still felt alone. In my private time, I would wear my mother's clothes as I outgrew my sister's dresses. Although my mother's dresses looked like gowns on me, I loved wearing them whenever I could, always in secret. There were times I would stop dressing like a girl, but after a while, I felt very sad and depressed. I needed to dress up. It was a part of me. I realized this at age 13. I was dreading what was about to happen to me. I was now a teenager with girl feelings, even though I was an adolescent boy. I hated what was happening to my body. All the girls were blossoming. I wanted to have what they had. As the years went by, my feelings intensified. I couldn't help what was going on. I hated being me. I was antisocial. I was a loner. I didn't belong. Junior high school was a nightmare. The only thing that saved me was that I was a good student and I was good at baseball. Those were the two things that kept me on the straight and narrow. Wearing your dresses in secrecy also helped, but it was upsetting to me that I couldn't break free and be the girl I always knew I was. I wanted to wear the dresses every day to school. I couldn't though. How could I? I was too afraid to tell anyone. I was living in the closet. I was a teenage closet cross-dresser. I was a teenage girl in my dreams, in my heart, in my mind, and in my soul. I still, to this day, live as a girl. The only difference is now I live to be me. I am living the dream. I finally realized what I am. I am a transgender girl. I live now with no fears. I am true to how I feel. I am happy now. I am me. I am a transgender girl. I am a T girl. This is my diary. Emily Ionelli of T-Girl Angel. I dedicate this to the memory of Leela Alcorn, a transgender girl who died way too young, way too soon. May she rest in peace. I love you, Leela Alcorn.
נכון, God bless you.